New at 5, the Byron Nuclear Power Plant is getting a major upgrade from its parent company, Constellation. Constellation will make an $800 million investment to the Byron plant that you see right there. Also, the Braidwood plant. This is going to help the Byron plant generate more power for the foreseeable future. You can see the cooling towers from miles away. The Byron Generating Station was almost closed down less than two years ago. Now the plant is getting a significant upgrade to improve efficiency for years to come. With some of the uncertainty, it was tough around here, weren't sure if the plant was going to stay open, and now they're going to see the cooling towers and know that it's going to be here for many years to come, and now generating enough electricity for 100,000 more homes, so we're going to be close to 2 million homes being served from this plant alone. The investment in the plant is also a big sigh of relief for the Byron community. Uh, it shows that the uh, plant's committed to a future here, uh, more than just a couple years. You don't put that kind of money in just for a couple years. So it's looked like they're going to be around here for a while, which uh, provides a great deal of economic stability. The plant means a lot to Byron, from the schools to the fire department who get tax contributions from the plant, but the reach goes beyond Byron. The local community will benefit with all the extra workers that have come through. And then further out, Rochelle, Rockford, places like that that are looking for businesses to come in, they're going to see that we're going to generate more carbon-free electricity here, and it's really going to be a benefit for those corporations and industries trying to move into the area. The project should be finished by 2029, ensuring those iconic cooling towers will be seen from miles away for years to come. And Illinois has a goal of being carbon-free by 2050 when it comes to energy, with nuclear energy playing a big role in reaching that goal.